Today we want to talk about smoking. There is no safe level of smoking. We know that in the United States, we can attribute over 480,000 deaths a year to cigarette smoking. That also is linked with 41,000 deaths a year from secondhand smoke and over 400 cases of SIDS or sudden infant death syndrome. Smoking, of course, is linked to many other health conditions, multiple cancers, but of course, heart disease, high blood pressure, ear infections, preterm delivery, and even infertility and male sexual dysfunction. So you need to stop smoking. What are you gonna do? Quitting is hard, but you can do it. The first step is to decide it's time to stop smoking. People who go cold turkey and just set the cigarettes down are the most successful at quitting, but not everybody can do it. And they're probably the people that have the most motivation. Gather your resources, talk to your doctor, there are some medical resources we can use, and they may have some tips to help you on your journey. After that, I recommend people make a budget. You spend a lot of money on tobacco products, and so you may find something you wanna buy or a trip you wanna take. Start saving up that money by skipping the cigarettes. The next step is to figure out how you're gonna replace the cigarette with something else, preferably something healthier. You have to look at where are you smoking and why are you smoking? If that's how you take a break after dinner and relax, go take a walk after dinner. If that's how you take a break at work, you gotta find a new way to take a break that doesn't involve smoking. It doesn't work to say, I just won't take breaks. People often tell me that they quit for several months, but then something happened and they slipped up. Some people find that they have to quit several times before they're finally done with it, but that's okay. Once you quit smoking, you're gonna see benefits. You're gonna feel differently, food will taste better, things will smell differently, but you're gonna see some definite health benefits. Within one year of quitting smoking, you're gonna see your risk of heart disease drop by about a half. Within two to five years, your risk of stroke goes to almost that of someone who never smoked. Within five years, your risk of several cancers, including throat cancer, cancer of the esophagus, and cancer of the bladder will drop by half. And within 10 years, your risk of lung cancer will drop by half as well. Start on that journey. It's time to quit smoking. When you can do that, you'll find that you'll be able to improve your health, improve the health of your family, and you're gonna improve the health of everyone around you.